Boom. Hello, everyone. Welcome to the show that we call yeah. The Professor and the Know-It-All. Oh, yeah. You know you've been waiting for another episode. Oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, so what we do here is we actually have a tasty adult beverage like what we have today, and we listen to a song that we haven't uh, heard before, and usually on YouTube, because we want to be able to get a reaction to the video and aesthetics as well. And you need something to do while you're drinking a beer. Yes. Yeah. Right. Um, I mean, usually we're yapping to each other constantly, but um, we didn't feel like you guys would really want to just see two old guys yeah. talk to each other constantly. So, yeah. The music is there to distract from that. And, <laughs> and then also group, explains the very, hair. Yeah. very small pictures in the corner. Right oh, yes. So, okay. Zoom ourselves out as far as we can. We do... Starting with beer. Yes. So it. today we actually have our friends at Legion Brewing here in Charlotte uh, who actually have uh, their new um, yeah. strawberry mango sour ale. Its name is Supernova. And you can actually see the can right here. So if you guys ever yeah. want to go out and pick it up or order it, if you're not in the Charlotte area, make sure you support Legion. They are phenomenal. They have some great beers. Yeah. So make sure they're there. They do. All right, um, other than that, uh, we're actually going to break into this bad boy. Um, this actually is a Berliner Weiss, and I believe we're sitting at about a 4.7% alcohol, 8 on the IBU scale. Yeah. And uh, we are not big sour guys. Uh, I'm more of a IPA type of guy, um, yeah. but the professor is actually a little bit more of a lager, yes. lighter beers. Right. Um, some of the yeah. uh, like more European ales, I would say, right? Right. Absolutely. So, <clears throat> all right, let's start with this one. So, right off the bat, good, it's clear, clear. pour. Yeah. Has a little bit of touch of hazy in it. It's probably because of that fruit um, that you get in it. Uh, other than that, the um, head on it is nice and kind of, it's not thick. It's very light. It's nice and light, um, kind of more like what you would get off a lager or an ale, yeah. um, a grinder. Uh, but um, it's, looks fairly clean it almost it looks oh, almost yeah. a little pink when it was coming yeah. out but it doesn't look that way in the glass very free very very free um again oh, yeah. strawberry mango let's give it a shot yeah god it, all right so little short story i had a sh sour ale probably 10 years yeah. ago the first time i ever had a sour ale right it was so sour that I couldn't eat anything the rest of the night. It was awful. Like, sours were something that you did not want to try. It was kind of like a challenge that other beer drinkers gave each other. Yes. Um, the last two that I've had, these are very, very drinkable. Very approachable. Not very sour at all. Yeah, usually I'm drink used to drinking sours, and they just make yeah. your mouth completely pucker up. After having those first few sours... When they started to become popular, I just stopped drinking. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it was one of those things yeah. where you're just like, guys, you love beer. Why are you doing this? It's, it, it really it's was drink. something I think college kids probably came up with. Or brewers <laughs> came up with the challenge. The guy's like, right. oh, yeah, see if you really like this one. It's like Carolina. making the hottest ghost pepper or something. <laughs> the Carolina Reaper. Yeah. All right, so um, we are going to keep on sipping on this because mm -hmm. it's... It's so far, good. very, very good. Yeah. And then it. we are going to listen to our video tonight. Um, what do we have on tap? We have Thundercat, Them Changes. And we're listening to this because the first video we did was a song by Gorillaz. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And it featured Thundercat. And then I remember commenting on that one that I didn't really hear a lot of Thundercat. Mm -hmm. yeah. um, I yep. later saw the official video and I saw him playing guitar in it and stuff. Oh, yeah. But He's a bass player. Yeah, and, yeah, and he's great. Yeah. So I, I just wanted to hear something of his own so I could get more of a taste of his own. So. Awesome. Sounds good. Let's get it. Bass 
bass guitar. Yeah. That's unreal. <laughs> that's that's like old school funk music, he's right? Definitely. And he has like a, I would say probably a flange on it, a flange pedal or playing mm -hmm. through a filter, a flange filter. Um, but, I mean, he's good. I, I, the first time I ever saw him was on NPR Tiny Desk. Oh, yeah. Wow. I mean, Phenomenal. That, that is some high-level funk. Right oh, there. yeah. Okay. Let's get back to it. So what it now is it an infomercial for the sword he's going to use to kill his rival? <laughs> but that wasn't he, that was him getting his arms chopped off, wasn't it? <laughs> I, I got a little confused because <laughs> he was playing the piano after his arms were taken off. <laughs> I'm I may be lost a little bit on the the video. Um, it sounds like the song is about love lost, I assume, but um, <laughs> that's pretty funny. Maybe this is like Memento. It's going backwards. Uh, oh. <laughs> oh. Yeah, you know what? I guarantee this guy's a big film buff. So he's probably looking we'll for a little fun stuff. We'll see. Metaphorical, very obvious metaphor. Maybe he can't, uh, he can't help his family. Uh, they can't rely on him to help himself or them. He has a black hole in his chest. I heard that. Yeah. So I am assuming. I see. It could be a love lost thing, and then the video is kind of like playing off the lyrics more, ly uh, like being more literal with it. So it might be two different things. You're like you're hearing the song do one thing, and then the video does another. Clearly, thing. there's something missing from him, and other people notice it. Uh, yes. Oh yeah, gotcha. Now I understand what you're saying. Let's get back to. Slime being sampled a lot in the future. Oh, yeah. Hip hop songs? Oh, God. Rap, uh, any rap artist using that line, I mean, be phenomenal. Okay. Awesome. Video before we get to the beer? I, look, I'm a Thundercat fan, and this is the type of music that if I'm just chilling, relaxing, Having a good beverage. 
right? Then I can listen to it all day. I love bass. Mm-hmm. Bass guitar. Electric bass guitar. Mm-hmm. I love it. I don't care if it's funk to like, yeah. you know, like post-punk heavy yeah. bass guitar, slow down. Even some of the heavy punk with the heavy baseboard punk uh, songs. Yeah. yeah Very absolutely. driven. So this is right up my alley. I absolutely love that. Yeah. Um, it, is this the kind of song that gets yeah. play, like on radio? Because I have troubles picturing that for he this type of song. He started to get a lot more play from what I hear. I mean, he's touring with uh, Red Hot Chili Peppers. Really? Yeah. Okay. He's actually in their, on their arena tour right now. Okay. Like, yeah. So, kind of crazy. So would that put him more in, like... Alternative music, alternative funk, I think. Oh, the funk, in right? With, uh, with the bass guitar, right, right, right. With, uh, with Flea and everything. Okay. I could see him doing a, a like a Bootsy Collins collab. Yeah, that would just that be. Yeah. Oh my God, you guys, make sure in the comments you go ahead and get together and then try to get uh, Bootsy yeah. Collins on Twitter, whatever you like to use, and let's make it happen. Why That'd not? be phenomenal, legendary. Yes. So, all right. Um, so let's go to ahead and wrap beer. this up. So the beer, um, again, Legion, Supernova, strawberry mango sour. Yeah. Great beer. Um, it's not giving me a lot of the sours. Even the newer ones that aren't as sour give you kind of like that acid yeah. refluxy right. feel after you've yeah. had it for a little Absolutely. bit. Um, I'm halfway into this one, and I don't like any of that. It's very smooth. And again, like I said, if yeah. you're not a sour fan or think you're not. The new sours that are coming out, you might want to give another shot because yeah. there will be right up over your alley, especially if you like some of the fruitier, leany beers. Yeah, and for me, yeah. this is going down really smooth. It's mm-hmm. not heavy at all. Yeah, I mean, it's lighter than some of the lockers I drink. Yep. And uh, I enjoy this. I don't know how much yeah. the name fits the flavor, Supernova, because I'm not really getting... Maybe it's, it's more about the It's color. more subtle. Yeah, it's... Yeah. It's a really good, yeah. subtle beer, not overstated. The sour is barely noticeable, but it's enough to, to add to the flavor. I like it. I'd give this yeah. a four, maybe a four and a half. I would do probably a four and a half because it's a sour, and I'm enjoying it this much. That's true. That's. Yes. I think I'm going to go four and a half on it. Um, yeah. But other than that, guys, uh, that would be it for our show today. But uh, if you need it. Just reach out to us in the comments and let us know if you guys want to see any other beers from any other breweries or if you want to see us uh, review or react to another video. All right. Yeah, let us know uh, if you have any recommendations for songs as well. Later.